This is my reading log assignment for a Coretta Scott King Award winner, and the one I have chosen this week is The Bat Boy and His Violin, which is by Gavin Curtis and E.B. Lewis is the illustrator. And so this book was one that I really enjoyed. Um, this book is set in 1948, so back then, a lot of integration was just getting to a head. It, it wasn't very common, and so you had a lot of segregated things going on in our country here in America. You, One of the main things they had was they had the Negro League baseball teams. And this story shows how a father, who is very involved as a coach in the Negro baseball team, is able to interact with his son even though his son has a different passion or talent than him. And so first off we meet our main character which is here on the front cover. This is Reginald and this cover is so explanatory of the entire story that you can tell here you've got a young boy who obviously is enjoying playing the violin but he's in a baseball uniform. And then you have this background of these baseball players. And so you're kind of left, hmm, Bat Boy Violin doesn't really make sense. But when we meet the characters in the story, we soon find that Reginald's father is the coach for the Dukes team in the Negro League. And he is very passionate about baseball. And um, Reginald is very passionate about playing the violin. So his father has been angry for some time because his team's losing, and they're arguably the worst team in the league. And so he comes home, and he sees Reginald playing his violin, and he's kind of in that mood where, my son has been cooped up all day playing this violin, and my team's losing. He's not happy, so he suggests that Reginald become the team Bat Boy. And Reginald is kind of distraught. How am I going to rehearse for my upcoming recital, you know, that's supposed to be in the church basement if I'm the bat boy? And so dad says, well, I'll tell you what, if you are good at being a bat boy, then you can have your recital here in our house, in our living room, which is bigger than the church basement. So this excites Reginald and he gets a team uniform, everything. He starts out as a bat boy and he's not very good. He overbuffs the bats. He takes too many at a time. So his dad kind of shoves him to the dugout and takes over distributing the bats. And Reginald begins to play his violin. And the, the players take note of it and they enjoy it. So he starts to play more and more. The team starts winning and they believe it's because of his music. And so his dad over this period of time starts to realize that this boy has a real talent. And it's not baseball. It's playing the violin. And he begins to respect that over time. And, you know, the story does illustrate some points of uh, segregation back then. The team arrives at a hotel in a town when they get ready to play. And they won't give them a room because, simply, they're African Americans. Um, they, they camp out near the, the field of where they're supposed to play. And um, they sleep outside. And I think the illustrations in this story do a great job of showing this boy and his family and what they expect and what he wants, what he longs for. You know, something I thought was really interesting is in several pages of this story, you see a picture here. It has um, graduation pictures of some sort, Hope, probably his mom and dad. Um, so you can tell that they have high hopes for him. Although his father's hope is that it's baseball, his mother realizes that he's good at the violin. And at the end of the story, he does have his recital and the baseball team comes and they support him. And I can relate to this simply because when my mother needed a organ transplant, we relocated to St. Louis. Before I lived in a very small town, 15 kids in my class, I was overwhelmed. It was a huge school. I was dead set. It's not happening. I'm not going. You can homeschool me. You can school me from my old school over the computer. I thought of it all. And my dad said, well, I'll tell you what. You go visit it. If you hate it, you don't have to go. Now, I don't know what he was going to do if I turned out to hate the school, but I found out they had orchestra. I learned to play the violin. I loved it. I was set. And I was able to, like Reginald, please my father and my passion.